Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and to check out the join membership option. Alright guys, so welcome to this video and today I'll be showing you uh, how to make the props respawn after they have been destroyed. So this is an additional video to my how to make destroyable props video from a few months ago. And yeah, so I wanted to show you that. And thanks first of all for your overwhelming support recently. You guys are very amazing. You guys are insane, okay? And I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird, but I got my wisdom teeth removed as I've said in my previous video. And if you consider yourself as a part of this community, then please comment hashtag bosses. Okay, let's cut this talking and get into the video. Now, you obviously need to have my destroyable prop model right here um, set up, okay? So, set, set this model up by placing the stuff in their, cur in, in their correct location. So, if you don't know how to do that, check out my first mini tutorial. And after you've set this up, check if this works okay so check if you have correctly set up everything so this is what i'm going to do now and yeah so definitely has changed as you can see so the idea behind this thing is that the attack just unanchors everything which was unanchored before and now, oh, you may be wondering on how you, yeah, respawn them. So how do you get them back into their former shape? Now, in order to do that, let's go into this attack script right here. And... This thing right here unanchors every part inside of these models. So what we want to do is... We want to clone the model. Then make it transparent. And make the visible model uh, unanchored. So we have two models. One model is for later, for the respawning part, and the other model is the one which gets destroyed, okay? So let's quickly do that. So we will define a new variable which will hold the cloned model, the parent clone. Then we quickly want to go through that Long model and set can collide to false and set the transparency to one so the whole thing is transparent. Now we want to create another thread so this thing right here so everything which is between these two things runs apart from the rest okay and now we can add a wait inside so let's wait 10 seconds so these are, this is going to be our respawn time and after 10 seconds everything should turn back to normal so these parts right here sh should fall apart and so on so let me no let me uh, do something else let me create a X2, which is directly our hit dot parent. So this is our cloned model, and this is our model. Okay, so our model which is being destroyed, and we want to loop through this X2 model again, and now we want to create a tween. So what a tween does is, let me give you a short example. 
So let's say we have, so let's say that these two parts are the same part, but just in different states. Okay, so this is our state one, this is our state two. And the state two and state one, or state one, state two, have the difference that the state two is at this position and the state one is at this position, okay? And if you would not use a tween and just um, make a line which rapidly changes the position, it would just uh, rapidly go right here without any transition, okay? And this is not what we want to do. So in order to make a property change right here, in this case, the position with some kind of transition, we will use tweening. So what tweening does in this case is it would slowly or maybe fastly or fast um, make it go into this state, okay? So it depends on what you what your settings are for this tween right here. So in order to get access to this tween service, so we need to refer to it, of course, then create, to create a tween, and then put the part inside, then the second argument is our tween info, so these are the settings. Now, the first setting is the number of times, or the time in which this whole thing happens. Let's set it to 1. And we just want our parts, which are laying around, which are destroyed, we want them to disappear. So turn transparent and uh, be deleted after. So that's what we want to do. So our state 1 is our part just laying around, and our state 2 is the part turning transparent. And that's what we want to do now. So let me set up this easing style. Easing direction. Set the repeat count to zero. The refers us to false and the delay time to zero as well. Our third argument is the property you want to change. In this case, the transparency. And now if you have done this right here, okay. Then you can just say tween the play in order to run this tween. Then you can add a one. So wait one right here because this whole thing should go one second. And what I can, oh, what I recommend to do is put this inside of a spawn function as well. Otherwise, it would just um, make things take too long. Okay. And we want to destroy it afterwards. So this is on how you clean parts. The next thing we want to do is we want to turn these to, we want these to be visible. So set this to true and this to zero and that should do. Now let's check this out. So let's anchor them.
Now the parts have been have been cloned multiple times in order to stop that. Create this variable right here and set it to true right here and check for that variable to be false up here. Okay. So that's on how you prevent this spam cloning. set this to false totally forgot about that so this needs to be false not empty and now things should work fine and as you can see it works totally fine Okay, there we go. So if you want this whole thing to work then, oh, if you want this whole thing to work on your attacks, then make sure that these lines right here, so the whole hit thing, is inside your attack script, okay? So we are checking if our prop we have been hit meets the requirements, meet, uh, means if it is inside of a model or if it is a model which contains this bool value right here so can be destroyed okay so this is important so if, if it contains this thing right here and is inside of a model and this cloned is false which it is by default then this will return to true means this whole thing only happens once okay so we had the issue that it happens multiple times and the prop was cloned multiple times as well and we are we are cloning the the prop right here in order to make it respawn later and we are making it transparent so our clone prop we make it transparent and disable collision so you do not even notice that there is another model which is just being waiting to turn visible okay so to be the respawn model and this is the usual destroying effect so that the port is just falling apart by being unanchored and this whole spawn thing right here so we wait 10 seconds so this is our respawn time you can reduce this to 5 to 2 seconds whatsoever and we are just cleaning up these fallen part parts so we are creating this tween and as you guys have seen it um, slowly turned transparent and not rapidly and we're waiting one second because this whole thing takes one second in order to get destroyed afterwards in the end we just make the cloned model right here turn visible Okay, so this is it with this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video to all of your friends, and if you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Also, don't forget to check out the join member option, give me feedback in, in the comment section, check out the description for the model of this thing right here, which I've just shown you guys. And excuse if you had problems understanding me, because of my voice today so as i said i got my wisdom teeth removed and yeah so I, should, I have to fight with the consequences still okay but i'm getting better at that so no worries no worries okay so that's it and see you guys and take care